Good morning and welcome to First Christian Church in Concord, California. We are one church in multiple locations as we gather together here in the sanctuary on Zoom and on Facebook Live. Today is a different type of service and so I want to say a little bit about how we're going to have service flow today um, so that it indeed can just flow and not have me popping up and interrupting our, our quiet time. So I want to let you know that the music today is in the form of, um, of a French um, style called Tézé. Um, Tézé is a musical prayer form, and the songs are not uh, meant to be sung as hymns, but rather they're more like chants. And they're a series of, of prayers, and, the, and each chant is repeated several times over. And the hope is that you'll find the repetition helpful, and as the words kind of sink deeper and deeper into your spirit, um, that it becomes not only um, just a chant, but it really is a prayer of your heart. For those of you who are here in the sanctuary, all of this is in the bulletin. But for those of us who are worshiping on Zoom, it's a little different. So I wanted to make sure um, we kind of talked through that. There will be a couple of different places um, where we will have some silence. And I just want you to be aware that that's happening, that there's nothing wrong. Um, but that is indeed a moment of deeper meditation, deeper prayer. During the prayers of the people, we're going to be a little bit different than we normally do. I'm simply going to invite you to say a word, a need, a concern, a joy. And when you're finished, you just simply say, Lord, in your mercy, and together we will respond, hear our prayer. Um, following that, we'll do um, the Lord's Prayer together as printed in the bulletin today. Shortly after the last scripture is read, um, or immediately after the last scripture is read for today, um, we will have our offering as we are singing Live in Charity. 
If you were online, just know that that is your time um, to be thinking about what your gift might be and, um, and to be sure to contribute either electronically or by mailing in your offering um, attention, Lisa Morgan. That part is very important. Finally, I want you to know that after the offering, I, yes, that after the offering, we're going to have another song, and then we're going to have five minutes of silence. Um, silence is kind of difficult in this busy world that we live in. Um, some of us relish it, and some of us are like thinking about the grocery list. I want to encourage you to sit in silence and prayer and meditation. You can think about the ways in which God has been present in your life over this past year. You can think about um, what you're hoping to accomplish in the coming year or the ways in which you hope God will be present for you in the coming year. There's all, whatever it is that is on your heart, but just know that we're going to sit in silence for about five, for five minutes. Following that, we're going to have communion and, um, and that will also be in silence. And um, Diana will be the one who will be kind of acting it out as we are singing, eat this bread. Um, and so there won't be any words, but just know to have the elements that are that are familiar for you, that are comfortable for you. Um, whatever you have at home is fine. Here at church, we still have what I call instant Jesus. So um, if you've not worshiped with us before, you will want to pull the back, pull the top off of the bread part first, and then you're going to flip it over and pull the top off of the juice part and then um, drink it at that point. I think that that's probably all I need to say about the flow of service. Meg's on. Okay, Meg, if you'll finish the rest of the Zoom stuff, and then we'll start with worship. Thank you. Sure thing. Thank you, Leslie. Um, so as this, we just have our standard announcements today. Um, so as always, we are recording you. If you um, are in the sanctuary and come to the front of the church, there is a chance you will be on the screen. If you are on Zoom, uh, you can turn, the, turn your video on if you're okay being recorded, um, or you you know, are absolutely welcome to turn your video off if um, you do not want to be visible. And you can, on Zoom, you can use the space bar during signs of life or uh, prayer times, or sorry, not signs of life, because I don't think we have signs of life this um, this service, but during prayer time, if you'd like to um, verbally share your prayers. Uh, you can also use the chat to type in the names of people or situations you would like to have added to the prayer list. And you can send that prayer request to everyone, or if you'd like to keep it private for just the elders and Leslie, um, you can find my name in the chat and uh, just send it, that message to me. If you would like your prayer request to uh, be private only to Leslie, um, we ask that you uh, please email her separately. And if you are in the sanctuary, you can use the cards in front of you to um, write down your prayer requests. And you can let us know you're here by completing the attendance form that um, I have in the chat and I'll uh, put in again. And if you are in the sanctuary, you have already signed in. Thank you all so much. From John 1, verses 1 through 9. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things came into being through him, and without him not one thing came into being. What has come into being in him was life, and the life was the light of all people. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not overcome it. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. He came as a witness to testify to the light, so that all might believe through him. <laughs> He himself was not the light, but he came to testify to the light. The true light, which enlightens everyone, was coming into the world.
John 1, 10 through 14. He was in the world, and the world came into being through him. Yet the world did not know him. He came to what was his own, and his own people did not accept him. But to all who received him, who believed in his name, he gave power to become children of God, who were born not of blood, or of the will of the flesh, or of the will of man, but of God. And the word became flesh and, the, and lived among us, and we have seen his glory, the glory as of a father's only son, full of grace and truth. Give to us your peace, O Jesus Christ. Give to us your peace, O Jesus Christ. Give to us your peace, O Jesus Christ. Give to us your peace. Oh, Jesus Christ. 
As we share God's peace, we also receive God's peace. And so now we have the opportunity to share with one another and with God our joys as well as our concerns. If you have prayer requests that you'd like to make sure are in the intersections, please use the card here and bring it up during um, the offering time. If, um, but I want to invite you now, or if you're online, put it in the chat, um, as Meg said earlier. Um, if, yes, so as you lift up your prayers this day, as you say them aloud um, or say them in the silence of your own heart, if you would end by saying, Lord, in your mercy, we as a community will say, hear our prayers. That's for here as well as online. So if you're online, simply unmute yourself and we will do the same. We will respond in the same way. Lord, in your mercy, hear our, hear our prayers. Break the voice, Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayers. Hear our prayers. Prayers for those without power in the life. Mm -hmm. Hear our prayers. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayers. Hear our prayers. Yeah. Hear our prayers. Here's Rebecca and Jacob's health. Get through those viruses. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayers. We pray for those who are traveling in these days and who have attempted to travel in these days. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayers. Will you join me in saying together the Lord's Prayer? as found in your bulletin. Our creator who art in heaven, 
hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. The last scripture for this morning comes from Gospel of John, chapter 1, verses 16 through 18. From his fullness, we have, re we have all received grace upon grace. The law indeed was given through Moses. Grace and truth came through Jesus Christ. No one has ever seen God. It is only, it is God, the only Son, who is close to the Father's heart, who has made him known. Here ends the reading of the gospel. May God add a blessing to the reading, hearing, and understanding of God's word. Amen.
We have had a very busy few weeks, haven't we? And so today, today we begin a new year. We close out an old year. We let go of the things of the past, bring with us the good things and the memory of those things that weren't so good so that we don't do them again or we don't allow them again, whichever the case may be. But we come on this first day, this first day of a brand new year, we come knowing that we have 365 opportunities to find joy and peace and hope and love. So as we leave this place, may you find hope in something new every day. May you find peace in your life, in your spirit, in your homes. May you always find joy in little things in life. And may you know love, the love of another, the love of yourself, and most of all, the love of God. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord for the next 365 days. Amen. Oh, I forgot all about the announcements. I am so sorry, Meg. <laughs> Oh, good here. Um, so as always, you can uh, keep in contact by signing up for uh, our weekly newsletter intersections. Uh, you just have to email Andy Raymond at Andy at, at ConcordFCC.net. You can also follow and interact on social media um, you on Facebook and YouTube at Concord FCC. And you can also check out our website where we um, have the you know, great calendar showing all the events that we have going on and that is ConcordFCC.net. And for this week, we have um, Tuesday, January 3rd at 9.30, the walking group, um, I believe is likely meeting at the church at 9.30 a.m. And then Saturday, uh, January 7th at 10 a.m., uh, there will be the uh, class, or the craft class in the discovery room. And uh, next Sunday, uh, there will be joint admin uh, ministry council meeting on Zoom at 1 p.m. In the afternoon and then next or not tomorrow but the following monday uh, uh january 9th at 1 30 p.m the uh, disciples women are meeting in the plan back room and oh a couple more announcements so t uh next tuesday the walking group will be meeting again at 9 30 a.m and and then same day in the evening at 7 p.m the epiphany epiphany team will be meeting uh via zoom and then looking a little bit further ahead in January, um, on Sunday, January 29th at 11.15 a.m., so basically right after worship, we will be having our congressional meeting in the sanctuary. And after the closing song, please stay online for a virtual coffee hour, or if you're in the sanctuary, please stay for an in-person coffee hour. Thank you so much, and Happy New Year, everyone. Happy New Year. Since I've already given the benediction, Happy New Year. <laughs> All I know is you have called me, and I will follow is all I can say.
Happy New Year, everyone. Hope everyone has a great week. So to you too, Megan. All happy New Year. Happy New Year. Thanks, Lori. Bye, TJ. Bye, Cookie.